welcome to Wolf 359. Hello, dear listeners. This is Communications Officer Douglas Eiffel, recording from the USS Hephaestus Station. Today, however, I don't speak to you from the plebeian confines of the comms room. No, today I come to you direct from the final frontier, from the realm of the Alpha and the Omega. Today I am recording from outer space. There are no words to describe the experience. To stand upon the firmament. To gaze upon a star as an equal. Today, I am not unlike the gods. When once you have tasted spaceflight, you will forever walk with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to... Sake, Eiffel, could you please get a move on? Really? She couldn't have held on for a few more syllables? Sorry, Commander, didn't mean to enjoy the majesty. When I agreed to lend you the spacesuit, there was a strict no tomfoolery clause, remember? Now hurry up and realign the satellite dish already. And there goes the majesty. 10 4, Commander, realigning now. You at the comm station? I'm here. Remind me again why we're doing this? I've been picking up traces of signals all week long, but I haven't been able to zero in on them. I might be able to get a clean reading if I just adjust the instruments, but I need someone with actual hands to help me calibrate. I'd ask Hilbert to do it, but he'd probably get bored and turn my consoles into a nuclear bomb and then forget to tell me about it. So that leaves you. Give that a shot. I actually think that made it worse. Let me try the opposite direction, see if that does anything. Hurry up. You're not exactly... trained for this. Would you relax? I've got air supply for the next hour and a half, and I'm tethered to the ship. And these mag boots are keeping me super glued to the hull. It's not as Star Trek as that jetpack thingy you use, but we're plenty precaution right now. Hira, would you please reassure our commander that I'm fine? All of the systems in Officer Eiffel's suit are working nominally, and his temperature and heart rate are both within acceptable parameters. Which means I'm fine? Which means he's fine. Thank you, Hira. Give that a try, Commander. Oh, yeah, Hira, you picking this up? Loud and clear. Let's see if we can lay down some track for this. I might finally be able to get that mixtape started. Would you quit clowning around and get back inside? Please, Commander, if this doesn't call for an air guitar solo, I don't know what does. Now hold on, let me tinker a bit more. I might be able to get this thing to pick up HBO. Eiffel. Attention, radiological alert. Attention, radiological alert. Dr. Hilbert, please tell me that's something you're doing. Negative, Commander. Not engaged in any experimental conditions at the moment. It's the star. Radiation levels are rising throughout the station and class for a geomagnetic storm imminent. Eiffel, get inside. What's the big deal? There's been like a hundred flares since we got here. I can take a little noonday sun. The interior of the Hephaestus is strongly shielded against the effects of radiation anomalies, but the hull of the ship is open to exposure. Just the increase in solar wind from the storm will be enough to cause major fluctuations to the magnetic fields okay, around your- Okay, okay, got it. Class dismissed. Hira, I'm headed back towards aft deck airlock two. Copy that. ETA? A minute to the hatch, another 30 seconds to- Um, is something going on with my suit? It sounds like I'm about to get a free round of shock therapy. The elevated levels of radiation are causing some of our electrical systems to go offline. Lovely. So what's about to go kablooey? Navigation? Life support? Temperature regu- Whoa, 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 whoa! The malfunctioning system appears to be your magnetized footwear. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Are you still attached to the hull? Negative, Commander. Man overboard, or whatever the space version of that is. Tether is holding, but I'm floating. Officer Eiffel, remain- Hira, I do not copy. Say again. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Floating off structure. Trying to pull myself up the tether. How much time before the storm reaches our position? 
How bad is this thing gonna be? Are we talking light showers or cataracts and hurricanos? Oh, shield! Do not copy, Dr. Hilbert. Say again. Way to engage. Any vision. There's too much interference. Again, how much time before... Oh, oh God, my eyes! Oh, that was a bright flash. Oh, God. Damn it. They're those rough seas I was promised. The best station, do you copy? I am spinning. I have no control over my trajectory. Please, come in. Hephaestus? Come on. Meet me at the bridge, Dr. Hilbert. Officer Eiffel, do you copy? Yes, now I copy. What's your condition? Are you stable? Negative, Commander. Everything's gimme shelter out here. Eiffel, none of us have time to figure out what that means. For once in your life, just speak plain English. Really? Oh, a storm's threatening. My very... All right, fine. Things are awful out here. That plain enough? A little help would be appreciated. And we got a new problem. What's going horribly wrong now? Proximity alert. You're on a collision vector with the aft deck solar panel. Do you see it? Negative, no. No visual. Upon impact, grab and hold on to panel. Optimal way to stabilize. Impact? You're coming in fast and you're picking up momentum. It's gonna be bumpy. Oh, swell. Ira, how far am I from the panel? Can I get a countdown? Can't you just- No, I can't see it. I didn't have my face shield down when the first flare hit and it blinded me. All I'm getting is white and some hazy shapes, so we're gonna do this tag team style. Ira? Calculating. Collision in 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Son of a bitch! Are you back on structure? Negative, Commander. I was not able to hold on to the panel. Officer Eiffel is moving away from the fastest at a speed of 35 miles per hour and rising. All right, if anyone has any brilliant ideas, now would be... Eiffel, are you... Fine. Fine. Commander. <sighs> I just got to the end of the bungee cord. I still can't see. and I think my right arm may be dislocated now, but... I'm stable. I'm not moving. All right, well, now that things are quieter, how do you guys feel about pulling a U-turn on the old Winnebago and coming to pick me up? Our rudimentary propulsion system's ability to correct for the stellar mass's gravitational cycle is... We don't have the engines for a maneuver like that, Eiffel. We go where the star takes us. You have to pull yourself up the tether. Expediency is of paramount importance. Stellar readings indicate a high probability of continued erratic geomagnetic anomalies over the next few hours. I mentioned the arm, right? And the blindness? Look, getting through those hundred feet of tether won't exactly be pleasant. A hundred feet? Jesus Christ. But you have plenty of air, so just take it slow. Grit your teeth and get through it one step at a time. Yeah, actually, uh, Commander, that may not be a um, completely feasible course of action. Hera? My instruments are detecting a rapid drop in the water supply levels of your suit's cooling system. It's... Likely that your collision against the solar panel caused a leak. Hira, there's bigger problems than that right now. He'll survive without a cooling system. No, 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 no. That, that's not the problem, Commander. Actually, scans also indicate that the humidity level within Officer Eiffel's suit is rapidly climbing. The water is leaking into the suit. Hira? <sighs> Given your current weightlessness, um, the amount of water in the cooling system... The volume of the occupancy space within your suit, the... Hira, uh, bottom line. The bottom line is unless there's a change in your conditions in the next few minutes, you are likely going to drown. Drown? But the important thing is not... I'm going to drown? In outer space? What kind of sense does that even make? Officer Eiffel, retain your composure. Remember Bryson Carter number four? Conserve your- Gilbert, I may well be dying out here, but I'm not gonna have one of the last things I hear be some crap from the survival manual. I've had enough dramatic irony for one day, thank you. Listen, you need to stop yelling. Your breathing rate is too high for your current oxygen reserves. Right, 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 right. Yeah, okay. Limited oxygen, gotta stay calm. Gotta stay calm, okay? No yelling. No yelling. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Hira, time frame? Six minutes. With luck. What airlock is closest to Officer Eiffel's current position? Aftec number three. Begin spacewalk.
airlock prep there. Dr. Hilbert, go down to the airlock. Connect two tethers together, then attach them to the restraint. That should be enough slack for me to reach him with my propulsion maneuvering unit. Is that your jetpack thingy? Yes, Eiffel, that's my jetpack thingy. Commander, I cannot recommend this course of action. Risk of continued electromagnetic anomalies is still very high. This rescue mission places your life in unacceptable risk. For the greater good of the crew, I must request... For the greater good of the crew, I am going to pretend that this line of thinking was never even insinuated, Doctor. Aftak airlock, now. Aye, Commander. Eiffel, I'm coming to you. How are you doing? Um, acceptable. I'm starting to feel the water from the leak, though. Still making my way up the tether, only... Era? 94 feet. That much to go. Keep at it. Hira, I'm outside the station. What is Officer Eiffel's approximate coordinates from my position? 23 degrees ecliptic north, 17 degrees left to east. Four minutes of acceptable water to air ratio remaining. Thank you, Hira. Commander, can you see me? Negative, no visual contact. Can you flash your work lights? Still nothing. Beginning approach trajectory towards your coordinates. Not to alarm anyone or anything, but <coughs> things are getting kind of touch and go in here. Doing what we can. Hira, distance? 70 feet and closing, Commander. Flash your lights again. Still no visual contact. Hira, can you do anything to refine the... Attention, radiological alert. Attention, radiological alert. Stellar flare imminent. Uh... Commander, permission to speak freely. Permission denied, Doctor. Eiffel, is there anything you can do to give me a sense of... Wait, flash your lights again. Got you. Beginning intercept vector, I should be at your position in a few moments. Faster would be better. Just be ready. I don't exactly have brakes on this thing. Approaching. Should be at your position in... Three... Two... Damn it! What? Did you get him, Commander? Negative, Doctor. I was off by a few feet. I went past him. Turning around now to try to... Feet more than a few seconds. Eiffel, are you ready? Wait, Commander, what? Did not copy. What are you... Easy, it's okay. You're all right. You're in Dr. Hilbert's lab. Hilbert's lab? Deep breaths. You're okay. We got you. Hilbert's relocated your arm, and he says that your vision should be back to normal in a few days. I'm <clears throat> all right. Well, you're still you, so... Eh? But you're not in any medical danger. Although... Hilbert did have to resuscitate you, so you may now qualify as undead. <sighs> oh, God damn it! don't make me laugh. My lungs are barely holding together as it is. Take it easy, rest up, you should be all right. Commander, thank you. You're welcome. Just promise me you won't push our luck like that again anytime soon. Like in this lifetime. Scout's honor. <sighs> Officer Eiffel? Hey, baby. Did you miss me? I've been keeping track of your vital signs and biological readings since Commander Minkowski brought you on board. Because you missed me? Because I missed you. I have something for you. Oh? Yeah, it's, it's not much, but I thought it might make you feel a bit better. Thank you, Hira. This has been Wolf 359, written and directed by Gabrielle Urbina. 
The roles of Eiffel and Hilbert were played by Zach Valenti. The role of Minkowski was played by Emma Scherzarko, and the role of Hero was played by Michaela Swee. Original music by Alan Rohde, and audio recording by Jared Paul. Tonight's space transmission was Chinese Blues by Morin Gardner. Also featured on tonight's episode was Also Sprach Zarathustra by Richard Strauss. Want to learn more about Deep Space Rescue Mission Procedure? Visit wolf359.fm or follow us on Twitter at Wolf359Radio for more information on our show. <laughs>